name is Lil Maina. The sector reforms, which is geared towards what we have already discussed, uh, operational efficiency, which talks about uh, uh, minimizing operational costs. At the same time, it's also geared towards labor efficiency, which talks about improving labor productivity in this country. And lastly, it's talking about customer satisfaction, whereby uh, uh, we create efficiency in terms of our customers getting, or the consumers getting the right service. Here we have a productivity mainstreaming training technical committee, and that's where the facilitators have been drawn from. Um, the committee comprises of, she is also, the committee is, is, is spearheaded by the State Department for Government Affairs, that's our State Department, uh, joined by the Salaries and Remuneration Commission, and the National Productivity and Competitiveness Council from the State Department of Labor and Skills. Then we also have the State Department for Performance and Delivery Management here. So far we have made significant uh, progress in alignment with our action plan. And that's why the 20th cycle of performance contracting guidelines talks about uh, uh, productive, productivity mainstreaming. In, this, in the 20th cycle, all MDAs are required to develop productivity metrics, uh, collect data on the same, analyze and compute productivity index. This informs in this training that which is undertaken across the country. I just want to say that yeah. metrics yeah. are developed at the activity yeah. level. They help us yes. put a value to what we do to give our activities a mathematical and scientific dimension that will really enable us to measure the productivity of every organization. So once the metrics are developed, data will be collected and towards the end of this financial year organizations in conjunction with the national productivity and competitiveness center will be able to do, to compute their productivity index that is meant to determine the levels of productivity in their organization generally is computed as the GDP of the land divided by the number of employed persons. That means an employed person in Kenya is far less productive compared to an employed person in Egypt, in South Africa, and the country that could be among the top are Singapore, Malaysia, and uh, other countries.